Yo, what's up everyone? So I am on the pier uh, in Manhattan behind me, the Brooklyn Bridge, because as I said before, where I normally shoot has been compromised because everyone is working from home and currently the old lady is working where I usually shoot. So I uh, just want to talk about today, something that happened that was <laughs> quite amazing. So, uh, I was just minding my business and I got a DM from someone uh, asking to resole a pair of uh, boots of mine. So I thought about it and I was like, which, what pair do I want resold? There's so many that I want resold, but I was like, this is something that um, I sought out initially when I had the boots. They were definitely going to get a resole. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go with my 2937 lineman and the Hawthorne Moskinner. I'll send those. Initially, I was gonna do the 4585, um, what do they call those? They call those the loggers. Um, but I decided to send out the 2937 for a resole. And man, didn't take long at all uh, to come back. Uh, maybe, honestly, maybe a week and a half. Uh, I kept in touch the entire time um, about uh, what I wanted and what I was looking for with the resole. And uh, woo, was I happy when they came back. Uh, Northern Republic, thank you so much, um, is the cobbler out in Minnesota who did the actual resole. Um, I'm gonna put all the information um, down below so that uh, you guys can get your boots resold uh, by him. He did an absolutely amazing job. Um, and I can't tell you how pleased I am uh, with, uh, with how they look. So as you can see, I have the green Dr. Soul Soul on the 2937. Uh, so we went back and forth um, as to if I wanted a different welt, a double welt, same welt, um, and also if I wanted to uh, change the color um, around the sole, whether I wanted that stained or just to keep it natural. And I opted to... Uh, keep it natural and I thought that was the right call and because the thing is I can always change it I can always um, Stain it myself later on if I wasn't happy with it um, And then when I uh, got the boots back in in hand because I was um, going back and forth with photos and, and um, messages um, I thought I would probably um, Change the hardware Oh, this is a nice touch. Look at that. Putting the CJ right there in the insole. That was a nice touch with the Northern Republic. I didn't see that immediately. I, when I got the boots, I was looking, and then I looked, and I was like, oh, that's a nice touch. Look at that personalized CJ on the insole. I love that. But as I was saying, I think I would um, change the hardware and make it maybe brown enamel. Um, although the one thing that um, is a bit of a tricky part is um, the piping around is black. If I could find a way to change that, I'd do that too. But this is um, a look at the sole there, that uh, Dr. Soul sole in green. Uh, I'm curious if anyone has these, how they feel it, it works in uh, snow and in rain, if they find it to be slippery or even on ice. Um, I'm not familiar with these soles um, at all, wearing them in, in the elements, but um, very happy with how they turned out. So I have the microphone on again to... Uh for the on feet of these and I've never had these I've never tried these soles before these are the doctor soles I've never tried them before they are um, much lighter than the Vibram lug sole which replaced uh, the sole of this boot and as you can see I have not even really broken these in I think I only wore these when I did the initial review I didn't put them on after um, because I knew that I wanted to change the sole and also because I had the sawmill for as my winter boot and the other reason there was a very extremely mild winter in New York City so I really didn't uh, we didn't get much snow at all so I really didn't have the need for um, a Vibram lug sole but I have to say that this so it's light and I'm gonna do some research on it exactly to see um, the benefits of the sole itself um, <laughs> to see exactly what uh, 
the benefits are of the Dr. Social, but I think they look really good. I'm loving the color, the color contrast. I took out the uh, Taslin laces that came uh, with the boot and put in a flat uh, brown lace, which you would normally find in a blacksmith, um, which I think looks better in these and the linemen. Um, but overall, I'm excited to walk around in these and um, actually see how the sole breaks in. And I may, depending if I like it or not, or how much I like it, put it on uh, a couple of other boots. But um, currently, just putting them on, um, it feels quite nice. And I can definitely go for easily a mile walk, if not more, with um, these boots. Um, it's such a gorgeous day in New York City right now. It's like, uh, for me, it's perfect weather. It's in like the 60s. Uh, I'm, as maybe some of you guys know, I really do not like hot weather. Um, so uh, it was just like riding around the city. It's like, damn, it's beautiful. Um, perfect weather. You could still wear your boots and uh, not feel like a, well, I always wear boots. doesn't matter temperature. But um, yeah, I'm loving this. Let's see. You guys can take a look behind me, see what's going on. The sun is a bit high right now making everything harsh but uh i'm on the pier i got this boat behind me here look at that quite nice and the brooklyn bridge over here you know what we should get on the brooklyn bridge we should ride that <laughs> doesn't look like there's a lot of people on there like if you, I've ridden my bike across the Brooklyn Bridge many times, and um, when there's a lot of tourists on there, you kind of want to uh, not be on there because I like to leave that bridge for the tourists walking and enjoying it and not riding my bike. Um, I usually do the Manhattan Bridge if I want to go uh, across, but um, probably be a good day to do it now because there's nobody in the city or nobody visiting the city. Today I'm wearing the 3345 Blacksmith in the Black Prairie. I'll have you take a look at those right now. I am on the Brooklyn Bridge. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Here's a look at my bike that I'm currently riding across the bridge. Looking sharp. someone reach out to me um, DM me he was from Brazil he is from Brazil and he DM me because they don't have any Red Wing stores um, in Brazil and he was like I'm this size in um, Nike or not Nike I'm this size in Converse um, what would I be in the Rover or the round toe uh, 8881 and so I said okay well which um, Rover would you be interested in uh, if you could purchase one and he said he would be interested in the uh, 2953, and uh, which is the Hawthorne, um, the Hawthorne Rover. And I was like, well, I have a 2953, which just kind of just sits in storage because I have the 8181, and I prefer that honestly over the Rover. So um, I was like, do you want my pair instead of having to buy a pair? And he said, uh, yeah. So um, I was in. A uh, generous mood, so I'm going to uh, ship him my 2953s, um, and he'll have a pair of uh, Rovers. They're slightly worn. I haven't worn those as much, but they are slightly worn. Um, but uh, yeah, he, you know, that sometimes if you catch me, <laughs> if you do catch me in a generous mood, I, I have more than enough pairs of boots than I, and you are my size. Uh, I may be known to just give them to you for free. Um, I sent out something else recently. Oh, one of my Red Wing scarves that I have. 
uh, someone said um, uh, he lived in, he lives in Ireland and I don't know if there's one a store in Ireland I don't think so but he wanted uh, war, wanted to know where I got it and I was like I'll just give you one because I have one that I haven't worn so I shipped it out to him um, so yeah catch me in a generous mood and you never know what can happen <laughs> Okay, so I had a, a couple of requests about an update for the 3344 and the Iron Ranger 8111. So as you know, I had these, I sent the um, blacksmith out to get a resole with the Roshia. And when I came back, you see those two points there. Uh, Red Wing had treated the leather, um, I don't with some kind of oil. And what they did is they ended up staining, there was like two heavy dots there of oil where it they just penetrated left it too long i'm not quite sure so i put a coat of mink oil on top um and just to kind of even it out because to me it, it was a stain and i didn't want to see it so um, this is an update of the 3344s and now the 8111 iron rangers in amber harness um so with these um i think you knew that i put on the mink oil because i have a, a video of that but um i've also put on since then a coat of boot oil and so this is what they look like and i've worn them a couple of times and worn them to the dog park so they're a bit uh, dirty and i had to give them a quick brushing before i showed this all right thank you guys so much for watching from a tour list tourist list <laughs> i can't say it a tourist list new york city uh remember be a boot see you guys next time <laughs>